forward, you follow me. If I hesitate, push me. If they, I am a kill me, avenge me. If I am a traitor, you kill me. Gangsters, cops, and politicians get ready to rock. We're on a mission. Each one of us shares our own vision. Saludos, you already know, it's your host Gabe Morales, returning for part two of the B last names, as in Bravo. Start off with Gary Chino Blanco at Asalas, who was related to the famous Blanco family, who were PCP dealers. There was also John Lewis Jr. Blanco out of San Ho, who had P number 95156 after he was convicted of a robbery and murder in 1998. He was housed at San Quentin in the year 2000 and it was at the Santa Clara County Jail in 2002 and 2004. There was John Manuel Blanco, also a major PCP dealer, who was Northern Structure in the early 80s and was housed at San Quentin in 1984 under C number 91501. He then paroled in 1987 and was returned several times on violations during the 1990s. Understand that he actually dealt dope with Pony Boy Mares and Skip Villanueva, however, ran afoul of them on the streets and especially after he was sent to the feds and was stated as not wanting to get with the program of the NF disbanding the, the NR. So he was viewed as being a rogue running out in left field under BOP number 88022-011. He eventually had to be housed at Terre Haute, which is known as a PC facility, and was released in December 2020. There was also James Toro Blanco Corona, who is seen in this picture here with John as his brother. I showed that he was Northern Structure in the 1980s under E numbers in Edward 36538 and eventually was considered to be NF by 1990, although some people contest that and say that he was never NF, only Northern Structure, as was his brother. But it's obvious to me they both were deeply involved in the mix, as they were major PCP dealers. I show that Toro was then sent to the feds under BOP number 25226-077. He was housed with his brother at Victorville in 2004. He then was moved to Oklahoma City in 2004 and was released in February 2015. There was Mike Smiley Block at a Sacra, Barrio Franklin Boulevard. I recall this guy very well because he had me a bit confused. This was during the time when the Norteños and the Bulldogs were feuding, and I noticed that he would go back and forth between the Norteños and the Bulldogs, so it was obvious to me that he was communicating with both sides. He had D number 75040, and although he was documented in Northern Structure, I believe he was actually operating as one of the first new flowers. It is also interesting, but a lot of the Sacra Norteños started breaking off from the Northern Structure and, and NF. Indeed, many of the riders and new flowers are from Sacramento or West Sac which is pretty interesting to me, as well as the Norteños in Sacra being very close to the black gangs, in particular to the Bloods. Let me know what you think about that situation in my statements there. There was Joseph, a.k.a. Joe Blunt, out of Ridley. I showed that he was Nuestra Raza in the 1990s under J number 37072. I show he got out on that charge by 1997, but then came back with a G number 35982, and was housed at Corcoran Shoe, where he was an NF suspect. But I show is currently not in custody. There is Francisco Pancho Bonilla out of Alameda, but I believe was born in Sinaloa, Mexico. 
I showed that he was Nuasarasa in the 1990s under J number 61616. He then was prosecuted by the feds, I think for dope charges, under BOP number 78225-198. He was housed at a public facility in 2003 where, as I mentioned previously, there were many NF and NSOLs housed. And Francisco Bonilla Montenegro was released from the feds in July 2005. It was Frank Pancho Bonilla. At Los Baños, I show he was NF in the 1970s under B number 63309. There was Manuel, a.k.a. Huero, a.k.a. Crowbar Borba, out of Barrio Santa Rosa Norte. I showed he was a Nuestra Raza member in the 1990s under J number 41785. I showed that he was involved in a riot at Corcoran State Prison in 1998 but paroled in 1999. He then got rearrested for possession of stolen property in the year 2000 under P number 84684. Then got out on that, got popped on a parole violation in 2006, and I believe was off parole by 2009. There was Romel Jr. Borjas at a San Fran Mission. He was known as being an insole associate at the very least in 2012 at San Quentin under A number as an alpha, I as an indio. 2366. He was born in 1991, and I believe his father, known as Shorty, was convicted of a robbery and sent to the Youth Authority. I showed that he was locked up in the Youth Authority in 1977 and paroled in 1978. He then caught another YA charge in 1982 for burglary, was released on that, then came back on another burg in 1987 under D number 4099 and was documented as being Northern Structure in the 1980s. He paroled in 1988 and caught several parole violations this after that, often for Bergs, which obviously was his M.O. He later on got popped on a dope charge in 2001 and housed at the San Francisco County Jail, was popped again for dope in 2004 and given B.O.P. number 90453-111. I showed that he was housed in Dublin in 2011, but was released in 2013. There was Michael Shorty Borrego at a San Fran Mission. Showed that he was Northern Structure in the 1980s under D number 4099. There was George Ponchi Bolt out of Santa Clara County. He was documented as being Northern Structure by at least 1990 under P number 20900. But I lost track of him after about the year 2000. There was Mark Anthony Happy Boyce out of Alameda County. He was an NF member in the 1980s. And caught some serious charges in the 1990s, whereby he was considered to be NF and housed in the BOP under number 02699-097. Understand that he was housed at the ADX from 2003 to 2014, but won his appeal for his life sentence in 2015 and states that he is currently rehabilitated. I sure hope so. And then your moniker would finally fit. You could be happy for the rest of your life, being drug-free and living happily in the free world. So best of luck to you, Marcos. There was Frank Black Boy Brocamonte out of Watson. He had each number, 54166. And I believe was an NF associate, the very least. He had a brother named Jaime Brocamonte, who was basically in the same situation. And then there's a Rocky, a.k.a. Frox Brocamonte. I think he is also from Watson and was named in the RICO case of 2021 under BOP number 64883-509 and is currently housed at the Pollock facility. He is scheduled for release in 2026. There was a Michael Pelone Bradford out of Modesto. I show that he was a in-soul associate at the very least under T number 5381. He then was sent to the feds under BOP number 62006-097. I know that he was communicating with Skip Villanueva, who pretty much communicates and controls all NF, NF associates, and in in the federal system. Belon Bradford was released in February 2021. There was an Alexander... A.K.A. Horse Brand at a San Fran. He was Nuestra Raza in the 1990s under J number 71647. He was convicted of a robbery in 1990 and was validated as being Nuestra Raza in 1997, right about the time they were disbanded. He was charged at Pleasant Valley State Prison in 1997 for assault by a prisoner with a weapon. 
He got multiple parole violations in the late 90s and was returned to CDC where he was housed at Salinas Valley State Prison Segregation in 2012 and is currently still housed at Salinas Valley State Prison. There is Brandon Popeye Brazier out of King City. I showed that he was documented as being an insole under T number 55627. He was housed at Pelican Bay Shoe in 2012 and is currently housed at, at L.A. County State Prison in Lancaster. I show a Miguel Big Toro Bravo out of Salas. He was documented as being Nuestra Raza under K number 29174 and paroled in 2008. I had his primo, his cousin, Salvador Bravo, a.k.a. Little Toro, who had C number 80444, as well as C number 98314. I watched him on the yard and obviously knew that he was Northern Structure in the 1990s, but he was not validated as such until after I left in 1994. There was Ramon, a.k.a. Baby Ray Briseño Garcia, who was out of Bakers. He was NF in the 1970s under B number 558. Eight, five. I remember this guy's name coming up on quite a few C files that I viewed when I worked in New Folsom. He paroled in the summer of 1976, but was reincarcerated in the house at DVI in 1978. He was part of the Bobo Sosa car, but then switched to the Black Bob Vasquez car. Apparently, he was accused of stealing money. I'm not sure from which faction. But he was said to have been involved in the 187 of a guy named Piazzo Gonzalez at DVI in August of 1978. Even though he was NF throughout most of the 1970s, he was not validated until 1980 and was still active as an NF captain in 1985 when he dropped out. I show that he was housed at SATF in 2012 and I lost track of him after that. There was Pretty Jack Brito Chavez. Out of San Juan. I show he was NF associate around 1966 to 67 when he was housed at DVI, shortly after the North Familia Mexicana formed at Soledad and then moved to DVI in San Quentin. Understand that he, he paroled in 1973, came back in 75, and understand dropped out by the late 1970s when all that mess was going on between the Bobo Sosa and Black Bob cars. It was Michael Brown III, a.k.a. Lil Mike, out of Sacra. I showed that he was an insole by at least 2003 under P number 29877. He then was housed at Pelican Bay Shoe in 2012 and is currently housed at Solano State Prison. There were Santos Bur Bernias, a.k.a. Bad Boy, who was an infamous NF member. He started out in the California Youth Authority in 1984 for a burglary that was committed in Hanford. He then was transferred to the adult system under C number 85301. He was known as being a Northern Structure member at Corcoran State Prison when it opened and was validated as an NF at New Folsom State Prison in 1989 when I was there. He paroled in 1991, then got out and became very busy committing murders and other crimes for the NF. He was housed at San Quentin in 1993 and at Corcoran in 1997. He then was housed at Pelican Bay, where I understand he got into it with Stork Perez. He then was released and involved in the Brown Bob Viramontes hit, which almost everybody I've talked to involved with the NF says was a bad call. He was housed at San Quentin in the year 2000 and then moved to the BOP in 2001 under number 07303-032. He then was housed at Corcoran in 2012 through 2013 and is currently housed at Corcoran. There was James, a.k.a. Slim, a.k.a. Raccoon Bustamante, at Asakra. I show he was Nuestra Raza in the 1990s under J number 52569. Evidently, he put in enough work because he was validated as NF by 2011. He was housed at Corcoran Shoe and was the overall authority in his unit in 2012. He was housed at New Folsom in 2016 and is currently housed at Solano State Prison. There's Manuel, a.k.a. Shotgun Bustamante, also out of Sacra. I show that he was involved with the Northern Structure in the 1990s. I show that he was hit with the assault with a deadly weapon in 1985 under D number 17963. He paroled in 1987, but got popped for a firearms charge in 1988. Paroled in 89, but got popped for dope in 1989. Paroled in 1990, and they just kept on giving this guy more chances. He got popped again for dope in 94 and was housed at DVI and was not validated as 
Nuestra Raza until 1995. That's what I mean. Sometimes it takes CDC a long time to catch up with these guys. I remember pegging quite a few guys at New Folsom during the 80s and early 90s, and they weren't validated until five years or more later. But they're supposed to go by strict criteria, as they can be sued in court for misclassifying and misIDing individuals. So once again, if you feel that that happened to you, make sure you get a good lawyer. And so... That concludes the B last names, as in blessed. And truly, I hope that you are blessed and finding peace in your life. By the way, we're going to have a surprise for you on Christmas Day. Sorry, no tamales, but I think you'll like it. For now, this is Gabe Morales signing off. Gangsters, cops, and politicians. If I go forward, follow me. If I hesitate, push me. If they, I am kill me, avenge me. If I'm a traitor, kill me. Gangsters, cops, and politicians get ready to rock. We're on a mission. Each one of us shares our own vision.